Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the remarkable artist, Anthony van Dyck. Born in 1599 in Antwerp, Belgium, van Dyck had a rather eventful life that greatly influenced his extraordinary body of work. From a young age, van Dyck showed immense talent and a passion for painting. He honed his skills under the guidance of his mentor, Peter Paul Rubens, one of the greatest painters of the time. This apprenticeship provided him with a strong foundation in art. As Van Dyck ventured out into the world as an artist, he embarked on various artistic endeavors. His experiences and encounters shaped his unique style and subject matter. He was not only a painter of grand historical scenes but also a master of portrait art. One of Van Dyck's notable works is Samson and Delilah, created between 1628 and 1630. This painting showcases his ability to depict dramatic moments and capture emotions. The tension between Samson and Delilah is palpable, reflecting the artist's skill in conveying complex narratives. Another remarkable piece, Ronaldo and Armida, painted in 1629, demonstrates Van Dyck's fascination with mythology and love stories. The enchanting composition depicts the tale of the sorceress Armida captivating the knight Ronaldo. This painting reveals Van Dyck's flair for creating dreamlike atmospheres and conveying a sense of allure. In addition to his allegorical and mythological paintings, Van Dyck was renowned for his captivating portraits. Portrait of a Man, crafted between 1628 and 1632, exemplifies his ability to capture individual character and personality. The expressive brushwork and meticulous attention to detail showcase his mastery as a portrait artist. Van Dyck's religious-themed artworks were equally impressive. The Assumption of the Virgin, painted between 1628 and 1629, depicts the Virgin Mary being taken into heaven. This piece demonstrates Van Dyck's skill in portraying devotional subjects with a sense of grandeur and spiritual significance. Throughout his career, Van Dyck was commissioned to create portraits of notable figures, including Frederick Henry, Prince of Orange, in 1629. His ability to capture the essence and power of his subjects made his portraits highly sought after. Among his portrait works, one that stands out is Blessed Joseph Hermann, created in 1629. This painting showcases Van Dyck's ability to convey a sense of spirituality and calmness in his subjects. Another significant portrait, Bishop Jan van Malderen, painted between 1628 and 1631, exemplifies Van Dyck's attention to detail and his ability to capture the individuality of his sitters. In 1628, Van Dyck painted Nicholas Lanny, a striking portrait that reveals his talent for capturing the personality and elegance of his subjects. Lastly, one of Van Dyck's remarkable works is Unknown Lady, painted in 1628. Though her identity may remain a mystery, the painting stands as a testament to Van Dyck's ability to capture the beauty and grace of every subject, known or unknown. Anthony Van Dyck, with his diverse range of subjects and remarkable technique, left an indelible mark on the art world. His unique ability to capture emotion, evoke vivid narratives, and convey the essence of his subjects continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day.